Okay, so we have this very interesting material here. It looks like a long rock with some interlocking domains of a, of a mineral. Here it looks like a you know, sedimentary layer or an oxidation layer. And here it's like getting spotty on the side. And uh, so all these hexagonal domains. Obviously, we have almost the same thing here in another color. Green, very transparent areas, and here untransparent, and so on. And uh, the claim in the industry is that this is a natural material. From this material, obviously, we could cut something like that, a bit greenish. And uh, the refractive index was 1.739. And the density was 2.56, and exactly everything matching for grossolarite. So, so was it then really a natural material? Uh, it happens that uh, the same same density and refractive index matches to another mineral, periclass. It turned out that it is really a, a periclass. The only thing is, this is only as a relict during metamorphism that gets high rated. About this material, it described as being formed by high temperature melt, a so called slack from a magnesium oxide, calcium oxide, a melt. And, um, and so it turns out with inclusion research and everything that this is a synthetic material that has been uh, smuggled into a mining area where, the, uh, where it has been planted in and found and created a lot of confusion in the trade. So if density and RI, everything fits, it doesn't mean it's that mineral, you have to go with being extremely careful and uh, so that is a new scan of the channel.